Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In today's video, is we're gonna learn about how to add an embed HTML code on Google's site. So for us to be able to get started onto this video, so we're gonna walk you through the process of adding a custom HTML code to your Google site. So whether you want to enhance your site with specific features or just want to experiment with HTML, then we've got you covered. So before we head on to that, let's do a quick overview first onto what is Google site. So this is actually a user-friendly platform that allows you to create and customize websites effortlessly. So this is like a digital canvas where you can showcase your ideas, projects, or businesses without needing advanced technical skills. So you could think of it as a virtual space where you can drag or drop elements to design your site. So this integrates seamlessly with other Google Workspace tools, making collaboration and sharing a breeze. So whether you're a student, a small business owner, or just someone who wants to have an online presence, then Google Site provides a straightforward way to build your own website without the hassle. So this is actually a practical solution for those looking to establish a web presence without delving into complex coding or design process. So as you can see in here, so people outside your company can access your site even without a Google Workspace account. You can use pre-made themes created by Google or you can choose to create your own theme. And Google can help you purchase as well a domain through one of their domain host partners. So you could start today in here. Since there is a free trial for that, you'll just have to click to this if you don't have an account yet. Now you'll just need to fill in the details in here for the getting started button just like your business name, number of employees, your region, and many more so that you could go ahead and create an account for your Google Workspace so that you could go ahead and try to use or open your Google site. So this is what Google site should look like. So once you have already logged in or created an account on Google Workspace, then you should get redirected onto this page and you could just simply search googlesites.com onto your local browser so that you'll get redirected onto this page. Now for us to be able to get started in here. So to begin, you could actually create a blank site for that. But as I've mentioned earlier, there is also different templates in here that it offers. So you could go ahead and click on the template gallery so that you could go ahead and browse through the different templates that Google site offers. So these will actually provide you some um, different templates that you could use, which are for free. So you could go ahead and choose onto the different things in here. And also this will give you some ideas onto what your website should look like. So if you're also having some um issues within your inspiration or anything like that you could browse through the templates gallery for that one so that you could get some ideas onto what you should use so for example you want to use the specific template for restaurant then we're going to go ahead and click onto that to open this site directly now right after you're onto the editing page you could actually um have a tour if you're just new like me so as you can see you could go ahead and add in a content over here so as you can see you could insert a text box images and this one the embed button which we're going to delve into earlier so that we could go ahead and add in an embed an html code onto this google site we also have our drive in here some content blocks and many more in here so we're going to click on to next for that you could also move things around to organize your site you'll just need to drag um the content to where you want it for, for example you want to go ahead and try to add in a divider so you could just go ahead and drag and drop some things in here to move it or like that you could go ahead and move this so we'll just have to click onto that one and then there will be an option for you to move the different things in here onto your design now we'll click onto next also you could work with others using this button so you could go ahead and share your site to let others um, edit with you so if you're working with a team for this specific project you could go ahead and click onto that button and if you're already satisfied and once you're already done with your website so you could publish this using this button in here so that's just basically it onto the tour onto their website but you have also different options in here wherein you could undo and redo and also you could do a quick preview first before publishing it and also you could copy the link of your site once it is published since if it is not yet published you could go ahead and copy the link for that so there is also a settings in here and aside from the different things that we've discussed here earlier we also have the different pages in here wherein we have the home contact us the shop menu which are the different things that are added onto your site and also here we have the themes wherein you could go ahead and add in a custom theme we also have here the one created by google you could just click onto it to change the design also if you want to go ahead and try to change the color of it the font style so you could choose from classic 
also there is bold for that and i think we're just gonna stick to modern for that one and many more in here now right after that you'll just need to play first onto the different things in here you could also delete this and also there are selection colors you can duplicate the section delete it and many more so you could browse through the template first familiarize it remove the things that you don't want to see onto your site and if you want to go ahead and try to embed already the site so we're gonna go ahead and click onto this button in here to embed so we're gonna click onto that so you could do it by url as actually so you'll just need to fill out this field to enter a url but if you want to go ahead and embed a code so your html code just go here you'll just need to click onto next and to save to add it onto your site so if you're actually not that really familiar with html so we actually have a tip for you to do so that you could go ahead and try this one out. So we will ask help onto another tool in here, which is ChatGPT to generate an HTML link that or an HTML code rather that we could add onto our Google site. So we'll try to do that one right now. So you'll just need to search ChatGPT into your local browser or openai.com to get redirected to the site now this is actually what chat gpt is so you'll just need to get redirected onto this page to ask for help onto creating an html code so there are actually two versions of chat gpt already we're using the gpt 3.5 which is great for everyday tasks and the gpt 4 which is the smartest and most capable model and includes doll e browsing and many more so you need to upgrade to plus to use that one and what we'll need to type in, in here is we're going to go ahead and ask for an html code to add onto our site so we're just going to start with simple first so that will get a reference onto what we want to add so as you can see in here i've asked for a simple html code that will add a flower on the design of the website so it will go ahead and generate something for you you'll just have to copy it out just like that and then right after we're gonna go ahead and head back to google site click onto embed and then we're gonna go ahead and try to click onto embed code paste it in here and then we're gonna go ahead and click onto next so as you can see it has generated a flower image however it is actually not loading but it is a flower image so i think we've got the right one in here so since we have other uh, issues by showing up the flower in here we'll go to go ahead and regenerate something again so we're gonna make use of gpt again in here let's add in another message now as you can see i've asked again to create a simple html code that adds a design in the website and this is what it has given us so actually i think this html that it has given us is more like the basic thing or you could actually try to do this if you're actually trying to create from scratch so you could use this one let's head back here click onto embed and then embed code and then we'll paste it here now as you can see if you click onto next this is what the design looks like so it is actually what you need to do or you need to add if you're actually starting from scratch so this is actually very helpful if you're just starting out and you want to go ahead and try to design your google site using embed code so you'll just need to be very creative or very specific onto the prompts that you're asking onto gpt so that it will go ahead and generate it for you and we're gonna go ahead and click insert to that so that it will go ahead and give that and we're gonna go ahead and resize it so that it could go ahead and match the design that we have in here and that's just basically it on to adding an embedding html code on google site if you think this has been helpful to you don't forget to hit the like subscribe and we'll see you on to our next video